Hello viewers and welcome to my kitchen. Today on Crystal Zone, I'm going to show you how to cook arrow, which is a part of the traditional dish of the Bayangi people of the southwest region of Cameroon. But because this is very delicious, over the years, this has come to be one of the most popular dishes in the country. Without much ado, let's get to know the ingredients. So here I have some kanda, also known as pomo, which is a must in every pot of arrow. Remember, without kanda, your arrow is zero. Then I have some fresh beef with bones, so it's not only because of the extra taste that I get from the bones, but I love chewing bones, so I'm actually the dog of my family. <laughs> so you can use any red meat of your choice. Smoked meat would work as well. Then I also have a uh, shaki, so towel. Then some snails. Okay, snails. I understand that many of you out there do not eat snails, but personally, I think my aero isn't complete without them. So you would want to check out my snail video, how I wash and prepare them. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description box. I also sell these, so if you live in Germany, you can contact me if you would like to get some snails. I can send it by post or if you live around me, then I'll bring it to you or you pick it up anyhow. Just let me know in the chats. I'm also going to leave my contact. Then crayfish is another must. So you have three ingredients which do not have to go missing in Eru. Namely kanda, crayfish and smoked fish. The others are just optional, but for the Bayangi people, snails is also important to be in this pot of aero so i also market this fish this is a uh, smoked melusa um, homemade so if you want to get this as well please contact me you see it is very delicious i like the fact that this fish is not so bony it just has a single bone in the center in the middle of of it and then um don't be irritated by the softness of it i actually soaked the fish for a couple of minutes before uh, splitting it open yeah so it's actually good to go you just drop it in your pot of soup you don't have to pre-cook it because it's well smoked and yeah you can freeze it or keep it in an airtight container however you want to to store it or you can even put it for a couple of um minutes in your oven just to keep it dry and if it's summer perfect take it out uh, sun dry it like we do in uh, back at home or in africa yeah and your fish would be properly preserved so i am using 500 milliliters or half a liter of palm oil if you need more feel free to add then some seasoning cubes and salt and then there you also see um Watafufu, which is made of fermented cassava and it's the perfect match for Eru. Please let me know with your comments if you would like to see how I make my Watafufu. If you live in Germany and you need this, let me know because I also market them. So, if you want smoked fish, snails, Watafufu, just feel free to hook up with me and you have your homemade products at your doorstep. Now this is my perfect substitute for water leaf. Six packs of spinach of 450 grams each, okay? So uh, if you do not have, if you live in an area where you do not have spinach that is already chopped, you can also use uh, leafy spinach, either fresh or frozen, it doesn't matter. And when I do that, I don't have to blend it, I just cook it like that directly. Okay, and then over here we have some arrow. This is 125 grams of uh, dried arrow from Cameroon. So you can see that it's very dry. I'm going to soak it in some water and for about 20 to 30 minutes and then wash off the dark green water that comes out of it. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, slice the meat. 
I hope you enjoy watching me as I cook this Cameroonian delicacy. But before I go, I would like to say thank you so much to all of you for your heartwarming support, for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. You are amazing. I'm grateful for all your likes, your comments, for sharing my videos on different platforms, for sharing me on your community. Thank you so much. And for you who are watching for the first time, hmm, do you like what you see? Do you want to get more of me? If yes, then please do not hesitate to hit the red subscribe button at your right. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Now enjoy. See how I prepare. everything and let, them, let it cook together. No need to waste time. And for easy stirring if you want you can also add your palm oil before but I prefer to leave it like this <laughs> because I just believe or oh, this is the way I was brought up or told by my mom that if I add palm oil too early then it will delay the cooking process of uh, the arrow so checking the pot so at this point i'm going to add the palm oil Look at that. Now stirring is even easier. Look at this. I think it's time. Yeah, soft enough. It's time to add the meat. So everything you presented, huh?
check out that fish, nothing is happening to it. It's still all intact.